Hi, Bill Beamer with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Friday, June 11th, 2010. And for those of you who caught it and let me know, yes, yesterday I said the wrong day. Yesterday I said it was Wednesday on the vlog, and it was actually Thursday, so thank you for those of you who pointed it out. And boy, can you believe we're almost halfway through the year already? It's amazing how time flies. Here's a brief summary of what's on the uh, website today. Summer Dogfight Preview, iPhone 4 versus EVO, 4G or EVO, I'm not sure, somebody tell me what it is, is it EVO or EVO, I don't even know how they're pronouncing it, uh, versus Droid Incredible versus Galaxy S. And basically there's a video of each one, now some of the videos are the older video when they first came out, but at least there's a video of each one, and then underneath it tells who the target user is, the best feature of each phone, the worst feature of each phone, and then the prediction of the phone. So it's a pretty great comparison. There's no feature comparisons or anything like that, uh, but there it does show you pretty much which way it's going. So take a look at it. It is fairly informative, and hopefully will give you an idea. Uh, and if you have any questions based on that, send them to me, and I can give you more specifics in regards to where to find features or even give you the features for that. Um, the second one, this rumor, and it's still only a rumor right now, all T-Mobile phones free on June 19th. And basically there was a, a company, a, a, a newspaper called, a magazine called TMO News, uh, or it's either a website, which received images of a possible commercial script with a, a T-Mobile employee going through the store saying each phone is free. Now they also say that you must switch to a family plan to be able to do that and sign on for to your contract. And let me tell you, this is something, if they're going to do it, uh, it makes a whole lot of sense because the amount of money they'll lose on the phones, they'll more than make up on if they can get that much in, that many influx of customers, plus the fact that if you have to sign on a family plan, I'm sure they're hoping that you'll bring uh, two or three kids over with your two or three family members with you to be able to sign on, so that's more so more lines for them and of course they keep making more money plus the fact that you get smartphones and they get data plans text messaging plans things like that so it's just in time for Father's Day and it's just before the release of the iPhone 4 so if it's true I think it's pretty good timing and a pretty good marketing plan for T-Mobile uh, next experts iPad security breach not seriously serious but easily avoidable and you see I have a guy with question marks around him I don't know how serious this is. I mean, obviously, all they got were email addresses. And getting an email address, I mean, they're saying that in the near future, all email addresses are going to be public anyway. So getting an email address, I mean, even if it was Diane Sawyer, I don't, I don't, they didn't say whether it was her public or her ABC. But if it's ABC, well, everybody knows Diane Sawyer at ABC.com, ABCnews.com. So I don't think that's huge an issue. My problem with this is if that a basic watchdog group could get into this, what could some real serious hackers do if they could get in and then get inside? And that's the problem that I have with this. So hopefully it's not anything serious. They said they, they've closed it off and they've checked everything, uh, but we'll see. Under categories, under Apple, AT&T, and iPad, update, FBI probes, AT&T, iPad, 3G, email leaks, and basically the FBI is seeing if there's, if there's been any crime committed, and they'll go from there. Under Apple, iPhone, and Google, um, antitrust probe into Apple's iPhone ad ban likely, experts say. And basically, uh, Apple has said that if you want to set up an advertisement through iAds, which, remember, the iPhone has about 28% of the market and mobile uh, advertising is getting huge, just absolutely huge. Uh, but the, the terms of the advertising, Apple's basically saying you are not allowed to use the Google's AdMod network and so the FTC is uh, checking into that to see if that is I guess a breach of monopoly rules or so I'm not sure which rule they're trying to violate but I don't they're trying to say they don't have the right to dictate what other people can can and cannot use to create their ads I guess so keep an eye out for that we'll see what happens under the Android there's two things under Android Motorola execs boast of two gigahertz processor coming to Android now the newest Androids all have a 1 GHz Snapdragon processor. They've already said a 1.5 is already in the works and on its way soon. And now the 2 is going to be out by the end of the year. What this means just basically is incredible, incredible speeds and power on the phones themselves to the point where they're saying that these phones at 2 GHz will start replacing laptops because it's going to work faster and more efficient. Now right now a 2 GHz processor uh, would mostly be for gamers with very, very large programmers and people who are multitasking that have a lot of things open at once. 
they'll need that much power in the phone. So we'll see what happens, but it should be pretty interesting. And then again under Android, Norton Antivirus released for Android, and this is pretty cool. Um, it's a 90 day free trial right now, it's a beta trial, and there's no price yet set for uh, to keep it afterwards. I'm sure hopefully by the time 90 days is up they'll have some kind of price, and who knows if it's going to be one set application price or if they'll have a monthly price uh, like they sometimes do with their PC stuff. It will be set in and native to the Froyo 2.2 Android when that comes out. And some of the things it can do, you can remotely lock and wipe off information if it's lost or stolen. Uh, there's a scanner built into it for malware. And again, as there's more advertising, you need more protection against malware. Uh, call screening functions to block unwanted callers, which I personally could use right now because I got uh, one of these people who for online jobs that have been calling me left and right. So I definitely could use that. So hopefully this is going to be, I'm going to hook it up and see how it works. And I'll try to give you a review of it. Um, but hopefully this, this is going to work real well. Anything else, go to www.phonescholar.com. Blog questions at phonescholar.com for all your questions. Have a great day. Have a great, great weekend. I will see you Monday.